Monster Bass, the second box. This is the Monster Bass subscription box for the month of June. And I told you guys last month, this isn't just any Monster Bass. This is for the Midwest and Great Lakes region. And if you guys were unhappy with other subscriptions sending you the same baits, the same lures, Monster Bass is going to send you baits by not only your region, but by season. So, there we go. And of course, it says show you our... Show you, show, show us your bass. Snap a picture, share on social media, Instagram, and you win prizes. And then it says, welcome to the Better Box, we know bass. And like I told you guys last month, the people behind this box, they actually do know what they're doing. They are skilled anglers. They pick the baits, so. And of course, you do have a card from the founder. And this month, we are featuring the following brands. Bagley, v &M, uh, a catch company, Yum, Castaic, Monster Bass, Strike King, and Daiichi. And then, of course, on the card, it does say use code SAVE40 at checkout, save 40% on all t shirts. So, right off the bat, the Monster Bass sticker. That is another Monster Bass sticker. I do like these stickers a lot. I said I was going to put one on one of my tackle boxes, but I still haven't. And another thing before I continue, people have said, Hey, man, what's up with your hands? Well, I work full time, I'm a machine operator, and my hands get beat up. I work for a living. Anyway. Look at that Bagley. The Bango Lure 4. And of course, there has to be a bird chirping in the video. Bango Lure 4. Use medium tackle and fish tight to logs, stumps, or weed beds. Cast, let it sit, twitch, set again, and retrieve. On the retrieve, it dives to two feet, often prompting surface strikes as you're pulling in for another cast. And I have found that to be true with uh, jerk baits by Mega Bass, Rapala. I used Bagley years ago. There are times where, you know, I'll be right by the boat or right by the bank and there's an explosion. So, on to the next one. You do have the Castaic soft baits. So, we're going to have to open this up and look at it because these do actually look pretty good. Open the. Ooh. I like that for sure. I mean, I think the bait itself is a good size. It's kind of bigger. It's not too big, but definitely a good choice. Um, and then the color, it does look kind of like a teal or a little bit of chartreuse. If it looks like a fish and swims like a fish, it's got to be a castaic. I do like that. Uh, it's the Jerky J5, and yep, right there it says, or it says, excuse me, chartreuse blue. Bite. Get bit with bite. Catch outdoors. That was the name of it. So, we open this one up, and let's see what we got here. Uh, the video should be at like three minutes. It looks like you have a curly tail grub. Um, I've fished these in rivers, and I've thrown them on smaller jig heads. But I haven't used these in years. I mean, it just hasn't been a bait that I've used. So if you guys if you guys use a lot of curly tail grubs, let me know in the comment section below. And I know I did say at the la at the end of the last video that that would be my last one for a while, and maybe I'll upload. Well, I got this video, maybe another one, but look for July. So the Rage Space Monkey in the Watermelon Red Flake. Watermelon Red is one of my favorite colors for a plastic. And I feel like I catch more fish on, or excuse me, more largemouth bass on a watermelon red than I do smallmouth bass. Now the Space Monkey, I have thrown this before. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Of course, Texas rigged with a three-aught hook, a quarter ounce or a three-eight weight. Break open your appendages. It's going to have a lot of action. Uh, the Strike King products, the Rage Tail products, those are very good. They're patent. Uh, it's used by other companies and it is a proven patent so just to give you guys a quick recap we do have so far in this month's monster bass you have the rage tail you have the bite you have the castaic you have the bagley so continuing on you have zero ooh the zero gravity hybrid underspin 40 percent lead free um I like to fish like a quarter ounce or a three-eighths underspin. I usually throw them on the Great Lakes. I've never tried this underspin, 
but it does say that the zero gravity airdrop is a most unique underspin that internally features both traditional weighting 60% and lead free head tech design. Uh, good stuff. And then, oh, look at this. You have a Monster Bass Mad Max Topwater. Uh, it's a two and three eighths lengths and it weighs a third of an ounce. I have to open this and look at it. Uh, every Monster Bass lure represents an ongoing effort to create the most like lifelike combination of shape, sound, and movement. So Monster Bass, you have your own lures. I can't really say anything yet. I, I'm gonna have to try it. I mean, a pop R is not my favorite, or a popper is not my favorite topwater bait. You guys know I like a spook and a frog. Okay, and I hope you guys are enjoying this unboxing so far. I had a really busy day. I got off work. I went fishing. I caught a few fish, but I'm probably not going to make a video out of it. Uh, why? I don't know. And then <laughs> you do have a pack of the Daiichi Fat Gap hooks. Uh, basically, it's it looks like an EWG hook. It's a four-aught. You get three in the pack. Forged needle point technology. Uh, you guys know that I like uh, Gamagatsu. Uh, the, the terminal tackle, I like Gamagatsu and I like VMC. I have tried Daiichi before. I have tried Owner. Uh, I haven't used Daiichi a whole lot. So I know you guys have told me before that you do like their hooks. Some of you do, some of you don't. So again, let me know. And the bait by VNM. It is the VNM J Bug J Pro Series Super Scented. And you know, I've never heard of this bait, but just by what I saw on the outside of the package, it does look pretty good. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. Oh, wow, yeah. Good little creature bait. You can tell it has a decent texture. Um, I don't know if it's going to hold up a ton, but I'm definitely going to have to try this bait. See, that is the cool thing. I mean, some of these things, some of these baits I've tried, some of these I have not. And the Yum Christy Critter, oh yes, I have definitely tried this, especially for largemouth bass. And of course, this is the four and a half inch, and it is the green pumpkin color. Uh, largemouth bass on inland lakes. Uh, we used to throw these years ago, like a lot. I don't really anymore, and I can't even open the package. So yeah, that might help. There we go. The Christy Critter. I like it too because it's a little bit bigger, you know, than some of your smaller creature baits, but it's not a, a giant size. I mean, it is a four and a half inch. That is what it says. Um, these and brush hogs. Well, these brush hogs, bandito bugs, and what am I missing? Rage craws are some of my favorite uh, baits to flip and pitch. Texas rig baits. And that is it for this month's box. It does say bucket mouth, hooked on bass, community, regionalized, best catch, best catch, monster bass. And then, of course, visit monsterbass.com for expert tips on how to land your best catch. So, put all this stuff back in the box. I thought this month's box was pretty good. Um, it's, again, definitely worth the money that you pay. I mean... This is more than what you pay per month for the box. So do me a favor and let me know in the comments, what was your guys' favorite bait in this month's box? Did you like this month's box? Did you not like it? Do you have any issues with it? Because the more feedback that Monster Bass gets on what you like and what you do not like, that is also going to help them decide what they're going to put in the boxes as they go. I mean, like I said, it's by region, it's by time of the year, but feedback is also crucial in this process. So. That is going to be it for the June 2019 Monster Bass Box. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, so far, the boxes have been good for the Midwest and the Great Lakes. Box number one was great. I like this month's box. I will see you guys next time.